I'm sure most of you would be aware of this classic story from the Shrimad Bhagavatam, probably one of the most popular ones, the story of Gajendra Moksham. You had this elephant king who is caught by a crocodile when he goes to drink water in a pond. And then he calls out to the Lord and the Lord comes running. I'm cutting short the whole story and just giving you the gist with the belief that most of you are familiar with the story. But the description of how the Lord responds to this call is very interesting and very beautifully captured by various poets and writers of the Bhagavatam. They say how Lord Vishnu gets up from his seat. He's playing a game of chess with Mother Lakshmi. But he gets up and he runs. He forgets to take his upper cloth. He forgets to take his weapon because he's going to protect a devotee. He might need that. He even forgets to call for Garuda, his vehicle. And that's how he rushes to protect Gajendra. Whenever you listen to the story, at least whenever I listen to the story, I wonder, how do you call Swami this way? How do you call him in such a way that he is ready to drop everything and come running to you? There is a beautiful Chinakata that Swami narrates in reference to this Gajendra Moksham episode. There was a king in his court, a Bhagavata, one who gives discourses on the Bhagavatam, was giving a recital and he was talking about this very episode of Gajendra Moksham. And listening to his narration, the king had a doubt. The king very humbly stopped the Bhagavata and asked him, I have a doubt, will you be kind enough to answer this, clear this doubt for me? And the king asked, This elephant called out and Lord Vishnu came running. It is said that the Lord resides in Vaikuntha or heaven. So my question is, what is the distance between earth and Vaikuntha? The Bhagavata was a bit tensed. He was taken aback by this question from the king. So he started flipping through his books, hoping that there would be some number, some uh, reference which he could put in front of the king. But unfortunately, there was no way he could tell the king the exact distance between earth and Vaikuntha. The king turned to the other scholars in the court. Everyone put their head down. He turned to, this wise, to the wise ministers that were in his court and nobody came forward to answer the king. The king was very disappointed. He said, this is such a simple question. I thought one of you would be able to help me with an answer. Swami narrates in the Chinakata that the servant who was standing behind the king and who was fanning the king, he came forward and said, My Majesty, if you don't mind, can I tell you what I think is the answer? The king was surprised in this hall full of learned men and scholars. No one had the answer, but here is this humble servant who seems to be brave enough to uh, come forward and give an answer. So he turned to his servant and he asked, So what is it? What do you think is the answer? And then the servant said, Your Majesty, the elephant king called and Lord Vishnu came running. So it only means that the distance Vaikuntha is from heaven is just as far as an elephant's call can reach. A simple answer, but Swami would say, in that lies the greatest truth. God is always just a call away. He is only as far as your call can reach. 